Today we have a lot of packs to open, including my champs rewards. I already played my champs because I'm in a lot of back pain and I didn't really want to record that because I was saying very weird. But we did play it. We have a lot of packs. There is a new problem with insane players. Can we pack something good? And I played my champs games all in the past few hours. I started off 5 and 1, but then my back pain started to kick in even more. And we went to 5 and 4, which is not an ideal start. I will show you the team in a second as well. Then I picked it up a little bit again. We went 8 and 5. Then the game after, I won 6 5. It was a very difficult game. And then after that, I, I lost. And we got 9 wins. Well, last week we got 10 wins. But now we actually had a somewhat worse team, I would say. But let me claim the rewards and i'll show you the team to be fair the packs are still good the only problem is in comparison to last week is we have less team of the weeks which is less coins and the base hero is maximum 87 rated so it is a big difference but we could still pack something amazing from it and this is the team i played with it is somewhat better than last week but also worse because i have a goal to run here while last week we had martinez but he was amazing for us like he kept scoring a lot of goals it's not my type of player but once i got the hang of him he was actually amazing he's very clinical Rui Costa, decent. Just a lot of assists. And we have Turum right now, who is not per se better than Rice, but he's a little bit faster. And in the long run, I think he's gonna be better than him. He was expiring today, so I had to do him. And of course, because of last episode, I needed to do the evolution of Aten. We're still working on him, but at least I was in time to claim the right evolution. I'm not gonna let you wait any longer. We're gonna open a lot of packs, including the Fatchamps reward. We're not gonna do it in a specific order. We're just going from bad packs to good packs, so the Fatchamps packs are most likely towards the end. There's actually one more thing I wanna show you about game gameplay but we'll do that at the end so you don't need to wait anymore let's get into the packs and you really gotta pay attention because we have a trade pack right now at the managers because some of them are worth a lot so don't quick sell them at least send them to your club so you can check them out later but this one is around like 2500 coins and since we're working our way towards Henri, that's very welcome the same with the heating items make sure you sell them or keep them in your club and sell them later because they are worth a little bit oh this is a tradable inform that's 10,000 coins. It's a bad one. So we can skip it. Because I saw it was the walkout. But that's almost 10,000 coins that we randomly get. But there's no rush in selling this one right now. Or quick selling this one. Because what if it goes up in price? What if there's an SBC where you need more informs. And they go slightly up. So we might as well send them to the club for now. Wait, back-to-back -back tradable informs. This is a mixed player pack. It's the same player. It's a mixed player pack. There's literally one rare card in here. <laughs> okay, this one I'm gonna quick sell then, and the rest we send to the club. Oh, and I forgot to say, we also have from the objectives, we have quite a few packs. So we're already at level 22. We gotta work our way up still a little bit, because there's still a lot of big packs here, and of course the players. But we are busy with it. And currently, we don't have any luck, and my dog is right now asking for attention. So let's give her an opportunity to open a pack and show you how unlucky she usually is. There we go. There she is. And since she's here anyways, we might as well do a big pack. So we have an untradeable 50k pack here, probably from an objective. Let her open it and see what she gets. It's not a special card. Also not a walkout. She doesn't like to be here because she's ashamed that the pack luck is so bad, isn't it, Bella? I think so. Let me give her some attention and then we continue the packs. Our luck is not really good at the moment. This is a rare gold pack. And we do get an 84, which is our best player so far besides the informs. But the Premier League one is worth a little bit. Currently around 1300. I'll keep it in case there's like a Premier League SPC or objective. Then it usually goes up. Okay, this was an 82 plus. We finally got an 85. Still no walkout. And we're getting already close to the FUD Champs reward. And we get another 85 from an 80 times 2. Okay, yeah, it's really time for some walkout because we are getting close to the fat champs rewards already and we didn't pack anything besides two informs back to back and again it's not looking good at all 83 double <laughs> we get 184 what is going on i don't know what happened to this account because it used to be very lucky in previous series like we got really really lucky there and now we have an 84 double we get our first walk okay maybe i didn't say anything it's harry kane I didn't say anything, EA. We have pack luck. We're fine. I know he's kind of fodder anyways, but he has three national plus with 93 shooting. Pretty sure that's going to be super OP. So I might need to use him as like a super sub or something. And an inform as well, Kovacic. Okay, that's actually a really good 84 double. Okay, I think this is everything from FUD Champs. 80 times 10, 82 times 10, 87 plus, team of the week, hero, and 81 times 15. Let's start with the team of the week. It's tradable. I just want to see a walkout here. It's not a walkout, so we know it's gonna be bad. And it is. 80 times 10, come on. We just wanna see a special flare, that special walkout animation. And we don't even get a walkout. We get an 84. Time for the 81 times 15. No special flare, no walkout either. What is going on? 
We get 184 and then a bunch of 83. Wow, that's really bad. That is actually horrible. Then we go for the tradable 82 times 10. Again, no special card. No walk at it again. What is going on? This is 85 Palmer. What is our luck? EA, sorry that I was being nice to you. The pack luck is horrible. I think I'm going with the base hero first. Maximum 87. And then we go for the 87 gold because it could also have special cards. Let's go. It's not even a walkout, so it's maximum 85. This is caught. That's the same one I got on my main account when I got 10 wins. Don't get me wrong. She is better than Trent. We'll fix some chemistry for us as well. And she's around 100,000 coins. So I can't complain too much because this is by far the best thing we got so far. Okay, time for the 87 plus. Then I'll show you some clips from Fred Champs and some ways how you shoot and can score. And if you get the hang of that, you win a lot of games. So let's open it. Not a special card. Obviously, it's a walkout. It's a woman. It's a goalkeeper. It's Andler. Can't really go much worse than that unless you get an 87. But once again, our champs run was quite unlucky with the rewards. And don't get me wrong. Trent is pretty decent, especially more in the build up. I love him. He's really good because I play him as a false back plus plus. So he's more like an extra midfielder for me. But I do think we need to add Scott to it. It's minus two chemistry though. Never mind then, I guess. Yeah, we gotta see how we're gonna fix it then. But honestly, I'm quite happy with the team, even though it's like a super cheap team. It's actually playing pretty good. Rui Costa I didn't really like too much But James again was amazing for me And Hamp is pretty decent as well Defense is solid I'm not gonna lie The long ball pass plus from him Did some good things for us Did he get an assist? Okay he didn't get an assist But he got some assists before the assist But yeah let me show you how you can score And some things that you should focus on And by the way if you don't care about this And you're gonna head out now Feel free I, I understand that you were here just for the packs Thank you for watching But for the ones who want to see how you can score And how you can win some games Stick around for like a few more minutes Okay first clip that I recorded corner goalie comes out I have Trent who has a normal dead ball not a dead ball plus normal dead ball look what you can do with that look at this don't know why his player glitched a little bit there but I've done this multiple times this year already and this is how I aim it and it's purely based on the feelings since I kind of know how much effect and shot power Trent has this is roughly how I aim it they need to have certain stats for it I don't know what the exact stats are but sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't sometimes it doesn't show the curve towards the goal like this and then it's gonna be impossible but if it shows this curve when you put it on the other side so the inside foot curled you can do it I do three quarters of power there sometimes a little bit more sometimes a little bit less depending on how high i aim so it's slightly different the lower you aim the more power you can put on the more chance you have it goes in but this way next time he won't come out of his goal and we can score in a normal way then a game later this is what i'm talking about if the goalie comes out and it's just a normal angle you just do it like this and you shoot it in as well this one is quite easy because every player can do this and free kicks i'm really good at it as well practice on it honestly if you can't score free kicks go to some moments and do some free kicks there like i got the hang of it i know exactly how to take my free kicks and i can score most of them but it's just like an extra goal it's like an extra penalty kick this one was perfectly top bins and i actually don't move anything besides just the the way where i aim at i don't do any effect or something of it i literally just aim it like this and i shoot it in this case, Trent takes quite low free kicks. So I think here I put it a little bit down. Just slightly. I don't know if you saw that. Just slightly down to get a little bit more of the dip over the wall. But I go around the wall anyway, so it didn't really matter too much. The only moment where I change the way I take my free kick is if I want to do the other way and I do an outside foot shot. And obviously you got to put different effect on it. But besides that, I just take it how it is. And then you score goals like this. I think here we get another free kick. Yes, we do. And look at it. I don't change anything besides just where I aim. And look how quickly I do it because I know where it is. And you just shoot and you score. I know exactly where it is. So I'm like, okay, I aim here. Perfect. Around three bars of power here. Slightly more because it's a little bit further away. And then you just shoot. And it's a goal. It can be that simple. It's just extra goals that you score. And I think I have one more corner to show you. Again, he comes out with the goalie. We do the exact same thing. This one I aim a little bit lower. So a bit more power and a bit of a weird goal but it works so my tip to you guys is just practice corners practice free kicks potentially even penalties if you're bad at it it just guarantees you so many more goals it's so worth it and hopefully you enjoyed the episode guys thank you for the support as always and i'll see you in the next one thanks for coming man thank you. really appreciate right. it